working with colors can sometimes be a bit challenging because you may not really know the appropriate colors to use sometimes and if you're working with photos also it can be more challenging when it comes to that but in this video what i want to do is i want to teach you a trick you can actually use to be able to work efficiently with colors and this should be a very short video so don't go anywhere i should be back after the intro Canva expert based in Ghana and in this video like I said I'm going to walk you through a basic trick you can actually use to make you efficient when you're working with color so let's dive into Canva and let me just show you this trick so you can see this um, usually my template when I'm creating any um, content at all okay and um, usually what I like to do is I like to work with images so I may just you know come to a new tab over here and I'll just go to maybe Adobe okay so maybe you know this is actually um, an extra trick so Adobe um, stock photos okay actually helps me to find good photos in Canva and I'll show you what I actually get to do most of the time okay so I may come here and just search for maybe neon okay and um, it should just you know load up quickly we will see so many things but i like to always add you know neon afro guy okay or afro lady or whatever uh -huh. and you can see so many um images or right? beautiful classic images so i may select this guy for example okay just copy all of the keywords over here or the description come into canva go into photos and just paste it over here okay and most of the time i should get the same image so you can see we have it over here right what i usually do most of the time beginning is i just right click on the image and i can just see apply colors to page so you can see what canva gets to do canva actually gets to you know pick colors from the image and try to make everything match up in your design or any element at all you actually have another thing canva gets to do okay is that so if we select the background and come into colors you would see that canva also tried to generate colors for us over here but if you are confused on which one to use for the background which ones to use here and there the simple thing to do is just right click on the image then just choose apply the colors to print and the more you do this you know canva tries to come up with more options for you so let's actually try with a colorful image to see what can be done let's watch it we need some short view okay so let's go back and um maybe i'll search for maybe yeah this one for an example okay so I'll search for this image. I'll just click on it, right click and choose apply color to page. You can see how it looks so beautiful. And the more I do it, the more combinations in the Canva generates for me. And I love this so, so much. This is one of my secrets actually. And um, I just thought making a video out of it would actually help you. Okay. And I just want you to be able to become a pro. Okay. So the next thing I always get to do after, maybe let me do for the last time and see. Okay. This combination. Okay. Let's see. I Okay. I think this combination should work because of the background. I just don't want, you know, the color of the shapes over here to be matching the background. So I can just place this over here and make it bigger. Okay, so I just position this here, somewhere here like this, and I can just copy my image, copy, and just send it to the back. So you can see how it's looking. And the more I do it, the more I click, the, the more Canva generates more and more and more for me. So this is one of the tricks you can actually use to make you efficient when you are working with colors in Canva. And I hope you'll be using this trick. And I know I didn't mention that if you're new to this channel, the best thing to do is to subscribe because I will also be trying to come up with more short videos like this to teach you how to do, you know, quick things inside of Canva. So subscribing to this channel is actually going to be the best thing you would um, you do. Okay. And if you're an OG, thank you so much for coming back to learn something new. The name is Benjamin. Always remember that there's no limit to creativity. I should see you in my next video. Best of all, I'm doing my job. That includes whipping and keeping the recipes. Uh, I cannot stop. I gotta get it till legends are next to me. Till legends are next to me. Aye, he do not text to me. I'm trying to get it.